Hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Chessbase 11 video tip for you. We've been looking at maneuver searches in Chessbase 11. Piece moving from one square to another square. We've looked at captures the last time around. How to set up a search where one piece moves from a square to capture on another square. We've been using the example of a bishop on f1 capturing on c4. But what if we wanted to find any piece on f1, any white piece on f1, capturing any black piece on c4. How do we do that? Because you, you saw that we have to put in a piece name, b for bishop. Well, you can use wildcards to expand your searches, and it's a very powerful tool if used judiciously. And what we're going to look at in this video is using wildcards in your searches doing maneuver searches in Chessbase 11. First of all, you want to right click on the database you wish. To search, click search, select maneuvers. We've done this before, we'll do it again. White, and what we've been doing is B for bishop on F1 to C4 capturing. But what if you don't care what the piece is on F1 that captures on C4? How do you set this up? Well, first of all, Think about the rules of chess. There are only two pieces that can make that move, that diagonal capture, bishop or queen. So we're going to expand our search this time by telling the software we want either a bishop or a queen. Now if you click on this pull down for the piece, you don't see b and q together on the same line. It's one or the other. So how do we tell it that either the queen or the bishop can be the moving and capturing piece? Well, there's a little question mark up here at the top of this list. It's a wild card. That question mark means anything. So we click on the question mark. Now, any white piece on F1 can go to C4. There's a little X meaning capture. And a question mark meaning you can capture any black piece. Of course, remember, we want to set the moves up, as we saw in a couple of the videos. So we'll start with move 20, and we'll go to move 35, as we've been doing. Click OK, and after a few moments we get games. Now we get 15 games here, which means there may not be any queen games. We can start clicking on games, and what we're seeing is we're seeing bishops. Yep, I do not see a queen move. We need to go to the end of the game here on this one. That's the one we've run into a couple times before, where it is a bishop move. Oop, there's a queen. We found one. There is a game. Adolf Anderson comes through with a game in which the queen on F1, on move 27, well, on move 28, I should say, on the 28th move, white moves a queen from F1 to C4 with a capture. And we'll click on a couple of other games here. So that's the only one. That's the one and only. So if we've done this search looking for bishop capturing on C4, we've got 14 games. This time we get one extra game. We get a one where the queen makes that capture. Let's say we want to narrow it down even more. Go to search, maneuvers. Now we want games in which a piece, a white piece on F1 captures on C4. Only knights, though, only a black knight on C4. So what you see here is white. Question mark. Any white piece on F1 captures a knight on C4. That's what this line with the blue bar at the top means. Between moves 20 and 35. That's the other criteria that we put in this part of the dialog right here. We click OK. This time we get only nine games. And of course we get that Anderson game again. The other games, however, are where bishops capture. a knight on c4 and of course we go to the queen game we see the queen captures a knight and just as a reminder when we click on Steinus Zuckertort we get the initial position for the game of chess what that means is that your search the, the maneuver that you're looking for occurred as the final move of the game so you need to come down here to the game score scroll down go to that last move and there's where the bishop captured the knight on c4 so wild cards are very powerful tools. You can really expand your searches. You can get more results by using a wild card because what a wild card means is any piece. You're not limited 
into a one piece. Um, if you want to do a different kind of a search, for example, white any piece on E1 goes to D1 and captures, let's say captures a rook would be more likely. Um, in this case, you'll get all kinds of games. You should anyway, between moves 20 and 35. We'll click and we get a bunch of stuff here. Here we get where a queen captured, a rook captured, rook captured. Somewhere down here, we'll probably get a king captured at some point. There we go. There's one where the king just moves over and takes a rook. Because we used a wild card. We did not specify the white piece. Any white piece on E1 captures on D1. But of course, most time it's going to be a rook. But we do get other games in which, for example, even the king comes in and captures. So that's the power of the wild card. It allows you to search for maneuvers involving more than one piece making that particular move from square A to square B. We'll look at another really useful kind of a search using the maneuvers tab in our next video. Until then, for uscfsales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.